Limatos here, Senior Support Engineering Manager, Americas East, with an update about performance factor reviews and next steps. So let's get into it. So as of 1215, performance factors have been finalized by PeopleOps, and now Support Engineering Managers have those final versions. And you might be saying, why does PeopleOps need to finalize them? They actually are a great partner in the process, and they act as a counterbalance to check for bias. So if you're interested in that, you can click a link here and understand what they do. And it's really helpful. At first, it can feel a little bit weird, but I think it is actually really helpful. Going into uh, this next performance review, I think it's really important that we are trying as a company to decouple performance review and compensation review. Now, they're really close together and they're happening at around the same time this year. And we talked about this at a manager level, trying to understand, well, how do we want to address that? Traditionally, you'd get your performance factor and comp information in the same conversation. And we think it's a little bit awkward, but PeopleOps is suggesting that we separate them now and we have those performance conversations and then give you the compensation information when we have it. So be ready for your manager in the next few weeks between now and the end of January to talk to you about your performance factor. If they haven't yet, you can ask them when they plan on it and they should be ready to answer that. And um, going forward, you should expect compensation information by late January or the uh, beginning of February, no later than February 1st. So that's important to note. And the last thing that I wanna take a second here to talk about is next year, it should be less awkward. We will have a performance review in May or June, and we'll use the worksheets that we did this year. Then we'll have a performance review in December slash January, somewhere around there, and we'll use the performance worksheets. And at that point, we'll be pretty comfortable. We should be uh, confident. And then we do a compensation review. And you might have seen something about a catch-up compensation review, and that exists, but it really only applies to people that were hired at a date where they wouldn't be reviewed for more than a year, their compensation. So if that happens, that applies to them, but it's separate to this. So I just wanna let you know that uh, if you hear about it, it's not a core part of this process. It's meant to help people to make sure that they get a review at some point uh, before at least once a year. So from there, my last ask for you is if you're interested, we need feedback on the worksheets that we built this year. Those worksheets were translated from the old COMPA group information that we used. Some of that information might be outdated. I've had some great feedback from Cynthia, from Viji and Wei Ming. Thank you all. And I'm looking forward, if you're interested, please comment on those issues. And we wanna wrap those up by January 15th. So going into our May, June performance review. And if you hear that, that is a very fat cat sneezing. So it goes remote work, eh? By June 15th, uh, excuse me, by January 15th, we wanna have that locked in so that we can then go ahead and do that in May, June. Thanks all, have a great one. And I hope you got a laugh out of a fat cat sneezing. Bye. <laughs>